Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai, and today we're going to be covering how to set up take profit and stop loss in TradeLab. TradeLab does support multiple take profit and stop loss. We can do DCA, we can do grid bot trading, um, and all sorts of different custom things. Uh, we are made to do custom bots, so whatever you want to do, uh, we'll walk you through how to set that up with these videos. Uh, and you can also look for community strategies that other people have made. Um, it is a little bit more in depth simply because you can change many different options and really set it up the way that you want. Uh, so that being said, this video is going to be an introduction to all the different features that we offer for take profit and stop loss. And then we'll have other videos uh, that will go more in depth on each of those features. Okay, so the first thing we'll take a look at is the strategy builder here. So we want to open up the strategy builder. I've opened up a buy and sell combo template uh, that I got from Community Strategies. Once we have our template open, we can take a look at the lines. So uh, if we go over to the sidebar over here, we click the lines panel, and this is where all of our stop lines, take lines, our DCAs, our grid lines, everything's going to be right here. So to get started, let's take a look at what I have set up as part of this template. We have a stop line and we have a take line. The stop line is set at 2% and the take line is set at 4% uh, and they will both close the position or decrease it by 100% uh, when, it, when they're hit. So let's take a look at how to set up a line. If we press plus, it'll open up the TPSL line builder, which is a wizard that walks us through step-by-step -step on how to set up our lines. In Trade Lab, there's four types of lines currently. There's take profits, stop losses, DCAs, and limit orders. Take profits go in the direction of profit, so above for a long and below for a short. And stop losses go in the direction of loss, so below for a long and above for a short. We do also offer DCA lines. Those go below the entry price, just like stop losses do. We also support limit orders, which can be placed anywhere. You can, if you wanted to do a DCA and do it in the direction of profit for whatever reason, you could do that with a limit order. There's more videos that cover these different types of lines. In this video, we're just going to be going over the basics. So we'll select uh, take profit for our example. And it'll ask us how many take profit lines do we wish to make. I'm going to make one for right now. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to make multiple. So I'm going to say next. It's going to ask me where do I want to place my line. In Trade Lab, when we place lines, we do so in the direction of the line. So as I just said, take profits go in the direction of profit. And stop losses go in the direction of loss. So if I say 1% chart move that means my take profit is going to be one percent in the profit direction okay if we're doing a long or if we're doing a short you don't have to change this number we're going to do it for you you know so if you were doing a short you would think that you would have to put negative one percent so that it would go down and hit your take profit what i'm saying is because this is a take profit line trade lab is going to do that for you and will automatically make it positive or negative based on what trade you're making. Okay, so we have 1% here, and we can also do a percentage of profit. So if I wanted to make 1%, instead of waiting for the chart to move 1%, uh, I could select this and say, I want to make 1% or I want to make 5%, right? Uh, this does include leverage. Uh, so if, you, if you're leveraged out and you want to make a certain profit with leverage, that is included. Okay, and then we also have USD relative and coin relative. Uh, these are sort of offsets from the entry price. So if you wanted to have the price move 50 cents from where you entered, you could do USD relative. And if you wanted it to move the value of a, the coin uh, at a certain amount, you could do coin relative. We also have USD exact price. This allows you to specify an exact price for your take line or stop line. So if you wanted to send a price from TradingView, most of the time you're going to be sending an exact price from TradingView of where you want to place that line. So you would uh, select this and then you would use the dynamic function to hook it up to an alert. 
Once again, we do have a video on how to do this, and I'll put those links in the description. So now let's go back to chart move. I'll say 1% for my line, and I'll say next. Okay, when the line is hit, what do I want it to do? Okay, normally we would just close the position whenever our take or stop line is hit, but we can also do multiple take lines. So if we were to do multiple, we would want to take from position instead of closing, and we would want to specify how much we're going to take. So we could say, uh, you know, 10% of the position, or we could say 50% of the position. Okay, now here's an important note. If I wanted to take away 50% of the position, okay, then I had another one that took another 50% of the position. You would think that I should have zero left, but this is percentage of position. There's also percentage of amount, which is basically what you were just thinking, right? 50 and 50 adds up to 100. Now my entire uh, position or my original amount that I traded is now gone. Right, but position is um, sort of, but position is of the current position, which is going to change as you take away from it. So if you say 50% of the position, that's going to take away 50%, and the 50% that's left becomes the new 100%, if that makes sense. So the next time, if you take another 50%, you, you'll be left with 50%, but when you really look at it, that, that's actually 25%. Uh, that's left over just still sitting in the uh, trade and you have 75% that you've taken, right? Because you did this in this sort of uh, exponential way, right? So that's something to, to uh, take into account. Really one of the main reasons we have percentage of position here is that if you did want to take um, just slices of your position or if you wanted to make sure that it was completely closed, 100% um, of position can sometimes get rid of any dust or any, uh, uh, you know, little coin that's left behind for any reason, okay? So we have that. We also do have USD and coin amount if you want to take a very specific amount um, and have that be static, okay? We can also do dynamic on this as well, as I was saying, more information in other videos on that. We can press next. What type of order do you want to place? Uh, so any one of our lines can be a limit order or a market order. Uh, so this allows us to have different strategies for taking profit versus maybe doing our stop loss, right? So I like to do limit orders for take profit and market orders for stop loss, uh, but that's just me. Okay, so I do limit and then take line. And so now I have my other take line uh, here that was at 4%, and now I have my new take line that is at 1%. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and hit save and we'll see our lines here. Let's talk about setting up a stop loss. So if we go to press the plus button, we'll make another stop loss and it'll ask us how many do we want? We'll just say one. Where do we wanna place that? It, once again, if I wanted to do a 1% stop loss, that's gonna go in the direction of the loss, right? Now let's say later on, and we'll get into this in other videos, but let's say that we wanted to change my stop loss while we're trading and we wanted to move it. And eventually we wanna move it above the entry price where we first started. We can actually do this uh, by doing a negative, right? So if you think about that, we're doing a stop loss and a negative stop loss is going to go above the entry price, okay? So more information, uh, once again, in other videos, uh, but I just wanted to mention that real quickly. So we'll go next. Uh, this one's gonna close position, okay? And we'll do a market order for my stop line. And this will be stop line new. We'll name it new this time and press finish. And now I have stop line new and it's at 1%, okay? So that's how you quickly set up a fixed percentage stop lines. Like I said, you can also do USD stop lines if that's what you want to do as well. If we press save, we'll see our we'll see our new lines here. And that's going to complete the first portion of this video. So we've covered how to set up basic take lines and stop lines. 
let's see how to create uh, multiple lines at once. So let's press plus again. And this time, since we did take profit and stop loss, let's set up multiple DCA lines. If we say DCA, we can say, how many lines do we want? I'm going to say I want six lines. Okay. So we'll say next. And it'll say, how do I want to place my six lines? So these lines can either be equally spaced or they can be uh, at their own prices, each of them. So say I wanted the DCA at like 2%, 4%, 6%, 8%, then I could just say, hey, space them out by 2% and it'll do all that for me. If I wanted to specify it specifically at 2% and then maybe 4%, but then maybe 5% and 7%, right? Then at that point, um, we'll have to pick my own offsets, okay? <laughs> So for this example, we'll take a look at equally spaced and we'll look at the next question. It says, when these lines are hit, will they take and add the same amount? So if our DCA lines are hit, we're going to add some to our position. Do we want them to add the same amount each time or do we want to pick different amounts for each? I'm going to select pick different amounts for each just so I can show what that looks like. And we'll say next. Okay, so now it's going to ask me where I want to place my lines. And remember, we selected that we wanted them to be placed equally spaced. So, so let's say that I wanted to do my example of two, four, six, eight. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to say two in this box, and that's going to set the first line at 2%. And then the offset can either be left blank, or you can set that at 2 and what that does is uh, makes it offset by two each time. Okay, so we'll press next. The next question will ask, what do we want to do when the lines are hit? For a DCA, we want to add the position. And how much do you want to add? We want to add, let's say, 100% of our original amount so that we double how much that we put in. Okay, the first time. The second time, let's say that we only do 50% of our original amount. The third time, let's say we do another 50. And let's say the fourth time, we do another 100% of our amount. And then we do 50 again and 50 again. Okay, so now we can hit next. And what type of order do I want to place? I want to place a limit order for my DCA. And I'll do a, I'll name this DCA line and hit finish. Now I have DCA line one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it's at two, four, six, eight, ten, and 12%. Okay, so that's how you set up multiple lines at once. And that's how you set up DCA lines so that you can uh, increase your position as your trade goes into the loss direction. All right, so we'll go ahead and press save and we'll see all of our lines show up once again on the right. So from here, um, we can talk about a few other things. Uh, there is a before trade TPSL down here. Um, and if these buttons get in the way, you can always click the X button right here to get rid of those buttons. And now we can see down here, it says before trade TPSL. And we can click here to open and it opens up a new little panel. This is a very specific and special type of TPSL that most people will not need to use. Uh, you can get more information by hovering over this little eye icon, but basically this is really only for a couple different exchanges that uh, give uh, certain fee perks and certain kickbacks for placing your take profit and stop loss as you place your order. So what that means though, is if you're calculating your take profit and stop loss along with your order, especially if you place it as a market, but even if you place it as a limit, if it doesn't get filled at the price that you thought, now your take profit and stop loss are a little off, right? From what they were supposed to be.
That's why all of these lines up here, when we normally create lines, they're placed just moments after the order is filled and we get your entry price. Once we get your entry price, we go ahead and place all the lines as conditional orders on the exchange. So I just wanted to mention that that's, that's what this is. And uh, we will do another video on before trade TPSL explaining a little bit more about it and how people use it. Uh, however, I don't recommend using this in normal circumstances. Okay. So all the lines that we set up here are ready to go. Uh, we don't need to do anything with our rules. So as soon as a alert comes in and one of our rules run that says place order, we'll stop running our blue rules. We'll start running our orange rules and we'll fill the uh, position for entry. Once the position is filled, we'll place all of our lines and we'll send these lines as conditional orders to the exchange and we'll wait for them to get hit. Once they're hit, the exchange will take care of placing the order that we told them to immediately. Okay, we'll also get a notification back that the line was hit and you can do things with your rules based off of what lines were hit. Okay, uh, more information on that in another video. So let's talk about editing our lines. If we want to edit a line, we can press the edit button. And that'll open up the wizard again, where we can walk through just like we did before and set up our lines. One thing that I didn't mention is stop lines allow you to set up trailing right here. So you can check the trailing box and that will send a moving line uh, to the exchange. Okay, I talk more about trailing in another video, but I wanted to mention that. All right. So uh, if you want to edit a line, you go through the wizard, you can edit it. And uh, once you get to the end, you finish and you'll have your edited line. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do though, is you can press the edit button at the top right here, and this will open up the TPSL. Um, and this will open up a quick edit screen where you can see all the lines in one screen. So it's a little complicated, right? So this isn't the default. I like to walk you through the different steps. But if this doesn't make your head spin too much, this does make it a whole lot easier to uh, quickly edit a bunch of different lines. So I can see all my lines here. I can see the different prices that I have. I can see if they're active or trailing and, uh, and I can change anything that I need to. So one thing, let's say that I have a lot of different lines and I wanna use them throughout my trade, but I don't want them all to place at the beginning of the trade immediately. That's why we have this active button. So you can come into the edit screen. You can come in and you can uncheck active for any line that you don't want to place uh, immediately after the trade is opened. Okay. So you can uh, turn these off and then later on you can use a rule. Let's say that we want to place another line when one of uh, our take profits is hit. We can do that. We can listen for our take profit to get hit. And once that's hit, we can uh, uh, turn on one of the lines that was off, right? So we would make the line. We would make the line that we need to use later, but we would turn it off. And then whenever we need it, we would uh, use a rule to turn it on, okay? And I'll have a video explaining how to do that uh, and give an example in context, okay? So I hope this video gave you some ideas, uh, gave you some insight on how multiple take profits work, how we set up stop losses and DCAs. There are quite a few different possibilities. I know I said, uh, take a look at other videos quite a few times, um, but I did want to sort of have a, a simple video that went over all of this information. And then depending on what you need, you can go look for the, the video and the information that you need, okay? So I appreciate you watching. If you have any more questions, you can always drop me a line in the support desk over here on the left, where you can always join us on Discord as well. That'll wrap up this video on take profits and stop losses. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe for more updates. Appreciate it. Have a good one.